Hello. Good morning. So today we're going to be fishing the Tanuki Ninja 350. This is going to be my first time, well, technically second time using it. I caught some brookies like two weeks ago with it, um, but it wasn't that fun to cast because it was all windy and really, uh, really kind of bad weather, but I caught about eight. But anyway, 11 foot, six inches, Tanuki 350. Second time I'm using this. Let's see if we can catch some fish. All right, we're gonna start off with um, a little bead head. That is a Brent's Warbird. I'm gonna fish with this little nymph head since I don't see anything rising yet. It's early February. It's gonna be hopefully 40 degrees. Maybe we'll get some luck with the Kabari, but right now I'm gonna start with this. There's a little little muskrat that went through here so I'm still gonna try this run and I have about four or five feet of tippet on and a uh, furled 10-foot line very mucky I think this is a uh, Luong's best selling rod so, top rated. Oh, first catch of the day. Feels really nice and lightweight. Going to try to crouch down and hug the bank here. Shadows on my left. Looks like this should be deep. Muskrat. And that's why. There's one. Heck yeah. Ooh, is it a brook trout? Might be a brook trout. Yeah. That's a little brook trout. We'll count that. That's a brown. Well, that's the first brown I caught with the uh, Tanuki 350, Tanuki Ninja. Look at that. Thanks, dude. Well, that's pretty cool. Not fishing more than 10 minutes and got a brook trout and a brown trout. Multi-species day. Maybe we'll get a tiger. That'd be pretty sweet. There's like at least 10 right there in that pool. I'm sure they're afraid. Not gonna bite. Yeah, one, two. Ooh. Oh, here we go. And there's a fly in the water. Looks to be another brownie. We'll land them down here. <clears throat> That'd be the smart thing to do. Yeah. 
And look at that. Nymph is out. Little flash. <laughs> I turned out a little brookie, I think. <laughs> See if I can land this little beast. Just fighting. Or it's a chub. No, it's a little brookie. <laughs> Just can't land him. <laughs> Gotta be one in here and one above. That little falls. Just start thinking of bite. bite. There we go. Nice one. This is the nicest one all day. There we go. Best one today. Biggest in color wise too. All these medium-sized fish feel really fun and good on this rod. Right in the corner. Oof, that was a nice one. Been hanging out. Ooh. That's a nice one. I scared it though.
All right, still got the nymph on. Went upstream. Never fished this before. But this looks really good downstream, so I'm gonna just kind of cast it down, see what happens. Looking at it when I pull it up like that. A little bit of move. Ooh, we bet. All right, I see what you guys are doing. You want some movement? Not too much though. Spooked about oh, there's a huge one in there. Oh, <laughs> he bit it. Wow, that was a big one. <laughs> All right, Tanuki has a big one 350. Let's uh, let's catch this one. <clears throat> <laughs> what luck. Come on, gotta land him, gotta land him, gotta land him. Ooh, his fins. His back fins chewed up. Whoa. <laughs> what? What a huge trout, and what's been eating you, dude? Wow. That is awesome. It is a slab. Something's been chewing on you though. Otter? I wonder. That there folks is the fish of the day. He just casually sipped that thing. your tail buddy still gonna fish this might be something up there if I go slowly.
beautiful. Hey, fish. Everybody needs to weigh downstream already. <laughs> nice colors on you, buddy. All right, the Tanuki 350, really nice lightweight rod, um, 11 foot 6 inches uh, with the Brent's Warbird. Uh, caught a ton of brown trout, maybe a couple brook trout in the beginning, and held that, I'm going to say, 16, 17 inch big male brown really well. So, yeah, all in all, great, great rod. I can't wait to test it out in the summertime with some actual kabari, some dry fly eats. So, yeah, we'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.